Here we are then, lights come on ahead of the grid. We're about to go racing here for the Italian Grand Prix here. Uh, motive Racing and Bad Boy gets a very good start there from pole position. Senna not so good. WTF Freak might be able to challenge him coming down towards turn one as you've got the Ferrari of Justin there looking to the inside as well. You've got the uh, McLaren there, WTF Freak getting a little bit swamped there and Justin there has made the move into third place and uh, Senna there still holding on to P2. Bad Boy leading as they come out of the first chicane for the first time and Justin moving ahead here of Senna. So Justin up into P2 and uh, Nathan there has moved up into fourth place as well and uh, what has happened to WTF Freak here? He's lost a load of places down to ninth place. It's been a horror show of a start there for WTF Freak. Truck is moved ahead of A-Trail up into P16, but uh, all clean here is to come through the Dead Orange came for the first time. Bad Boy from Justin from Senna. Nathan in fourth ahead of Papa Squanch completing the top five as WTF Freak's moved ahead of Dombey Razor into Lesmo 1 and he gets that move done and that's beautifully done there from him. As we can see, Oliver's dropped down the order here. Oliver down to P18 and with no front wing as well, so Oliver's had a bit of a disaster here on the opening lap of the race. Justify in the meantime has moved ahead of Papa Squanch and Papa Squanch is not done here. He's looking back to the inside here as they come down towards Ascari on the inside there Papa Squanch makes the move back on Justify there up into P5 as uh, those two have a bit of a scrap there we see Zombie Razor just tapping WTF Freak in, in the rear a little bit as they come through Ascari you've got Matty Pitt there moving ahead of Zombie Razor and Zombie Razor's had a moment there what's happened there to him he's dropping down the order like a stone he's had a horror show coming through Ascari he's down to the back of the pack as we see Random moving ahead of Little Greavy as well up into P11 but uh, Bad Boy leading as they come towards the end of the first lap we've got Justin there in second with center third and Nathan currently in P4 there but uh, Bad Boy holding on to the lead crucially and he's got the Ferraris all over him here as uh, so here comes Justin looking to the outside into turn one he's going to try and go around the outside here that would be a hell of a move if he can make that one stick but Bad Boy managing to keep it around the outside there managing to stay ahead as they come through the uh, towards the curve of Grande and he's done really well there as Bad Boy to hold on to that position but Justin's going to get another slipstream here all the way through the curve of Grande down towards the Della Rocha chicane he's now going to look to the inside he's going to look to try and make a move here into the braking zone he goes to send one down the inside there Bad Boy is powerless to do anything about it but he's going to get the cut back there because Justin went a little bit deep through the corner. Bad Boy back up into P1 as Senna's lost out to Nathan here. Nathan up into third, although he's coming back at him there. Nathan there's uh, moved ahead of both of the Ferraris. No, oh, no, 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 Justin. Justin's lost it coming out of Lesmo 1 and he's dropping down the order here. Nathan up into P2 and Senna running in third place there behind him, but Justin, what a horror, what a disaster there for him. Obviously he was battling with Bad Boy a few moments ago, but he's now down in 11th place. Looks like he's got away without any damage. I think he might have just avoided contact with the wall. But uh, Trucky, in the, in the meantime, has got ahead of Andrew Pitt up into 14th place as well. And Bad Boy has got a second of a gap here. So Bad Boy cruising at the moment with his teammate for company as his wingman. That will be, uh, a, a short, I'm sure, a, uh, a, a peace of mind, kind of like uh, knowing your teammates behind you and knowing that he's there kind of holding up the Ferraris behind, or rather the Ferrari of Senna, because uh, Justin, with that spin, now nowhere to be seen. I don't think that lasts long. Them, that Ferrari is rampant and he's just going to burn the EOS of Nathan. Let's get the so, graphics up so we can so we uh, we know exactly what's going on here because obviously we haven't got the telemetry on the screen so we don't know so Senna's got 57% and Nathan's currently got 44 at the moment but here it comes Senna as he's looking to pull out the system oh and Nathan Ooh. there with a bit of a sketchy move there as he tried to sort of swerve him off off uh, track and Senna here looking to the inside into the Dolores Chicane makes that move up into second place Nathan with a questionable move there if that had resulted in a crash I'll tell you what I think Senna would have been fuming with that one as Justin in the meantime has moved ahead of Little Grieve up into P10 but Little Grieve is coming back at him here down towards Lesmo 1 and he's going to have the inside for the corner and he's going to make that move back on him there this little greedy. so these two having a bit of a, a chop and change here Justin on the faster tyres on the soft shut the pace over him at the moment but uh, Isis Gab has moved ahead of WTF Freak in the meantime up into P6 and Nathan's got ahead of Senna now so Senna now back down to second place these two swapping places bad boy's got 10 no way oh he's going to have to absolutely smash it in the rest of this race if he wants to win now he's going to have to look to his teammate for his life now yeah, as we see Senna all over the back of Nathan right now. Nathan playing a peach of a drive has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Senna over the course of this lap. Obviously, they've both made moves on each other. Uh, Senna made his uh, through the Curva Grande into the Dero Chicane, and then Nathan used the DRS to get back at him into Ascari. Now Senna with the DRS is going to make the move down the start finish straight, but Nathan might look to try and come back at him into the Chicane as Justify has moved ahead of Papa Squanch. Also, WTF Freak moving ahead of Isis Gabber as well, so plenty of position changes right now. The Mercedes are up into 8th and ninth respectively, so Vita and Ultra and Matty Pitt starting to come back at the others here. We've got Trucky moving ahead of the Grieve up into P13 as well. But Bad Boy out the front has got over a second here to Senna. But Senna still keeping Nathan at bay at the moment. Nathan wanted, wanted to keep himself close here because he will have DRS coming down the, the stretch towards Ascari as well. 
Looking to the outside there into Lesmo One. He's going to try and hold it around the outside. Oh, bit of a twitch there from Nathan. Just holding it together there. Giving Senna a little bit of a tap as they came through Lesmo Two. But it's all fair between those two so far. Papa Squanch still all over the back of Justify at the moment in this battle for fourth place as they're coming under the old circuit towards Ascari once again. On board with Papa Squanch. He's way too far back to make anything happen there. Senna in the meantime is battling here with, with Nathan. These two are side by side through Ascari. Not often you can say that without it ending in tears but those two absolutely putting on a, a, an absolute show here and uh, really great driving there from those two and Nathan they're still keeping ahead of Senna Senna still having to tuck in here into Parabolica great racing there between these two and they're holding each other up all the time but that's exactly what bad boy needs he needs Nathan to hold Senna up as much as possible here because he is just driving off into the sunset here is bad boy at the moment but uh, Senna here with DRS but the thing is they've all got DRS and Justify is now getting involved in this Justify up into P2 down the inside he goes Senna's also got a Ahead of uh, Nathan, but Nathan down the inside into turn one. Senna's going to try and hold it around the outside there. Runs over the uh, rumble strip a little bit there, and Nathan managing to keep ahead of Senna. But it's going to be a uh, great battle there between these two. Senna somehow still can't make this move stick on him, and now he's behind Justify as well. So that's really gone not, not the way that Senna would have wanted it to there. <laughs> but. Uh, been a chaotic Andy. opening couple of laps here. <laughs> yeah, uh, Random has moved ahead of Justin up into the points as well. Uh, WTF Freaks still trying to hassle the back of Papa Scorch here. But you've got a long train of cars from second place all the way down to ninth place. You've got eight cars all in DRS of each other right now. So this is uh, turning into a chaotic battle right now. Nathan all over the back of Justify. Looking to the inside into Ascari. Makes the move here. But Justify trying to keep it around the outside. He's got some momentum there. Senna's going to try and mug him there. Nathan losing out to Senna. Oh, bit of contact as well. That was very close there to being a catastrophic collision there between them. But Papa Squanch here is going to now make the move on Nathan as well. Senna up into third place. Justify still running in P2. Papa Squanch and uh, Nathan side by side here into the Parabolica and Papa Squanch completes that move there into the Parabolica. WTF Freak now looking to try and attack here on the back of them as well as Justify has lost out to the centre there. Senna's up into P2. We've got a safety car. Zombie raises out oh, of the race. There's, I'm after seeing debris the flying right across, across the, track. the track. Yeah, Yeah, that was that was so the reason. Yeah, Zombie raises um, out of the race. We've got a few cars into the pits here. Random Justin, Little Gravy and Trucky all into the pits here at the end of lap five. And uh, Bad Boy out in front leading the race. Obviously, a lot of the drivers already gone, gone past the pits by the time the safety car was called. Those who were just coming out of the Parabolica were in the prime position to capitalise. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what Justin can do now. Uh, he's put the medium tyres on. I don't think he'd be able to get those to the end, but saying that around this track, he might be able to because the tyre wear is not really too much of a problem around Monza, but it's, gonna be, it's not going to be easy. I'm sure about that. But, I keep an eye on Isaac Gabba because he got a five second time penalty for a collision with the VT10. I don't know what was thought. Oh, he's missing the end of the front, front wing. Is he missing his end play? Oh, the left front end play. Yeah, you're right. So, Isaac Gabba, yeah, it must have been the collision, um, which has cost him that little piece on the front so he probably needs a new front wing i mean it's not going to be costing him too much time using it losing a front wing end play loses you a couple of tenths it's not the end of the world it's not like losing a front wing but nonetheless he'll be struggling through some of these uh, more technical corners he needs and, to uh, get in and fix that because he'll, he'll only ramp up more track hands yeah yeah he'll be missing those apexes and he'll be running all sorts of wide so i think you're absolutely right um but yeah, interesting first few laps. It's been a bit of a uh, chaotic race, hasn't it, so far? Uh, this obviously will bunch up the pack, which will be what Senna wants, because Senna's been held up so long behind Nathan. Now, obviously, he's going to have Bad Boy right in front of him. So Nathan's going to have to play his old tricks that he was doing before and try and get in between himself and his teammates rival for, for the win here tonight. Nathan obviously could be in a battle himself, although I think maybe Bad Boy and Senna just slightly ahead of him in terms of overall pace. It was Bad Boy, Senna and Justin were the three that I think were looking the strongest in qualifying. But uh, I'll tell you what, it's uh, certainly looking like Ferrari and Williams are the quickest two teams here tonight. And indeed, I think overall... Uh, for the season at the moment anyway uh, Matty Pitt in the pits at the end of the uh, lap 6 also Atrail, Isis Gabber and Justin in as well Justin's come in twice in two laps so he's obviously yeah, put the, the hearts on now out. he's after getting front wing change oh front wing change he's also put hearts on so he can now go to the end as well which will be of benefit to him because uh, I mentioned before how having the mediums on he wouldn't go to the end from there but with the hearts on he should be able to get there easily 
so that will obviously help him out quite a bit. Um, I'll tell you what, this is the last thing that Bad Boy needed, this safety car, because with his penalty, he's now going to lose... Um, well, he could lose a few places as things stand. Obviously, a long way to go, and I'm sure the gaps will spread out. But, uh, I mean, imagine if we have a safety car right at the end. That would really screw him over. Say so goodbye to that first place. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. one thing I'd like to point out, the reason, like, we like, know the way Justin had an incident. I'm after looking at that, but Nathan looked like he gave him the slightest ever tap. To spin, to spin him round. Now, I don't I know don't if he's guilty of it, because the, the angle I'm, I'm looking at was from, from was this, this angle. angle. But it but did it look like there was wheel to wheel, wheel and Justin, Justin just, just spun off, off then. And, and he did he make minor, minor contact, contact with the wall, with the wall but, hope, but, but I wouldn't say it was enough given damage. Well, it might explain the front wing. Well, they're saying that he'd he'd come in for the front wing first time around, wouldn't he? So it must have been since his first pit stop, so yeah, actually... But sometimes if damage isn't so, so severe, severe the, it won't default. even if it's not bad, yeah, it won't go on. You have to manually turn it on. The amount of times I've been caught out with that is frightening. <laughs> and it's obviously annoying because under safety car, you've got nothing to lose by spending an extra couple of seconds in the pits anyway. So at that point, it's just a, it must be a kick in the teeth. I mean, I've done a bit of sim racing. I don't really play F1, but I've raced on project cars to a little bit on ACC um, so I'm not really familiar with st strategy and safety cars but uh, yeah I could just imagine from a sim racer's point of view that would be yeah very frustrating uh, I'm sure about that uh, nonetheless we should be getting going at the end of this lap because the drivers are now coming up onto the back of the pack so you've got Ice Scabber uh, coming in towards the, uh, the back of the train now Oliver's not too far away Justin will be the last driver to pull up so as long as he's pulled up before we get to the Parabolica, we should be underway. They're saying that we might not be here. Oliver going into Ascari. Nah, we should be we should be going here. Yeah, safety car in this lap. There we go. Good to see. So uh, One we're getting back underway. I'm very surprised on where the Mercedes are. I would have thought, because Matty and VT have had brilliant, brilliant experience around here on Parabolica. Yeah, but the fact that they're down in 12th and 9th, now hopefully that improves, but I'm going for both of them because I know they're taking it more. Could just be the track and the fact that it's just a complete lottery, this circuit. Well, the fact that we're seeing two Williams is up the front. Says a lot. Yeah, I think, uh, especially which one's Logan Sargent? That's also an interesting one. Uh, but anyway, we've got uh, WTF Freak and Papa Squanch here very close into turn one. WTF Freak trying to go around down the inside. Papa Squanch keeping it around the outside of him for the time being. Senna's moved ahead of Nathan up into second place. So uh, those two, uh, well, obviously he was battling with him a moment ago. Nathan briefly got ahead. So uh, Senna actually keeping on to second place there. Justify's moved ahead of Papa Squanch now up into P6. So Justify uh, managing to get a better run there out of the first chicane. V10 Ultra also getting ahead of Papa Squanch. So Papa Squanch losing place after place here. He's now in a bit of a sandwich here as he's losing out there to WTF Freak on the exit of the Dead Roger Chicane. Uh, WTF Freak there has uh, managed to always... Oh, uh, oh, oh, Nathan's out of the race. Man. Safety car. Oh, my goodness. Another safety car. What happened to Nathan? I didn't even see. Neither did I. I just seen the whole front wing come off. Yeah, we were, watching, what happened. we were watching the battle there with WTF Freak and Papa Squanch and Nathan there. There's DNF here on lap 9 and we've got a second safety car. We literally have been racing for about four corners and we've already got another safety car here, which is not ideal. But uh, obviously while we're here, I'm going to quickly run through the championship standings coming into tonight. So, oh, um, don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be well, it's interesting in terms of the constructors tonight because obviously Ferrari lead the way on a 488. You've got the Mercedes team, your team, Freddie, 221. Obviously, most of those points you've, or rather, for most of the season, you've been contributing to that total. And uh, the battle for second is going to be quite close because you've got Mercedes who are 68 points ahead of Aston Martin. So Mercedes are on 221, Aston Martin on 153, which is, you know, should, it should be on paper Mercedes second place to lose here. Uh, McLaren... Not too far behind Aston on 136. They're 17 behind. Another 13 points back to Red Bull in fifth. Then you've got Alpha Tauri in sixth on 109 points and Williams on 102. So actually, 
to be honest, the battle for third is going to be more interesting than the battle for second because you've got Aston Martin in third and 153, all the way down to Williams and 102 in seventh. So five teams separated by 51 points. You know, that's not that's not much um, for the constructors because obviously there's 43 points available per race or 44 including fastest lap. So that's going to be massive here um, for all of those teams involved in that one. Uh, the drivers, I think it's safe to say that Senna's going to win because he's currently got, coming into tonight, a 107-point lead in the championship. He sits on 290 points. Uh, his teammate Justin is second on 183. Uh, WTF Freak, a long way behind. He's best of the rest in third place on 111 points. Uh, then you've got Matty Pitt in fourth on 97 Yourself, Freddy, uh, in fifth, actually, on 88 points. Obviously, unfortunately, that's going to... Well, obviously, as, as things are at the moment, um, that's probably not going to be the case. But, um, I mean, you, know, you had a really strong season. And what you've done with the Mercedes team, obviously, you and Matty have been very consistent. You've got yourselves in second place. I suppose your main hope now is that uh, Vinny can maintain that form and bring it home. Uh, he will. He will. He will. He will. You got confidence. Yeah, no, I've seen him every week, like, like proper sector. sector. He's been He's up there, there fighting Tezza every week. week. Second and first, first half, half of the time. time. And even, even though he took a break, break mid-season, mid -season, he, was he was still challenging, challenging the two Ferraris, Ferraris beforehand. So, so I, I, I have good faith in him. Yeah, he did start the season very strong. Um, the thing was, I mean, I haven't been at Purple Sector now. For a few weeks i had to sort of cut down because i just needed to kind of <laughs> i was i i i've been working a lot i've been pretty exhausted so i just needed to like press a reset button i've only been commentating motive in fact even took a couple of weeks off of motive uh just haven't been around so much lately but um i know that obviously tezza was and v10 were in a battle for the championship is that is that season finished now purple sector because i know it was very close yeah, yeah we, we just had a final not that long ago who I won? Yesterday, yeah, actually. Yeah. Tezza won the uh, championship. Oh, okay. And, uh, I think it, yeah, yeah, Mark, Mark had won it the race, race prior. prior. Mercedes yeah. won it the race yeah. prior, so... That's uh, Tezza and Matty. Yeah, yeah Tezza and Matty constructors, and then Tezza was the drivers. I mean, Tezza Mazza, for viewers at Motive, obviously, will be aware that Tezza did win the Motive Formula 1 League uh, last season. Uh, obviously elected not to try and defend his crown this season, did a Nico Rosberg on us. Uh, but he's shown he's got talent because obviously he's gone on one purple sector. I'm assuming he's probably won purple sector before. I'm, sure, I'm assuming this is not his first purple sector championship. Might be wrong, oh, but... Nah, I'm sure I'm he's won it more times. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't be surprised because he is uh, he's a very, very quick driver, is Tezza. Um, I remember he, he first raced here at Motive on F1 2021, um, back when we used to let any reserves in any time, it was like open doors, <laughs> like just come in and have a race. And yeah, it was uh, actually, re yeah, really, really close battles back then as well. But uh, look at this, Justify sleeping off of the line and V10 Ultra already ahead of him coming down the start finish straight. That was easy pickings there for V10 Ultra, but Justify is going to try and come back at him into turn one. He looks down the inside there, but uh Sorry, around the outside, should I say, but Vita Ultra there making the move, and uh, he's up into P1 as we see Random there moving ahead of Papa Squanch up into P4 as well. Matty Pitt attacking on the back of Papa Squanch here. You've got Andrew Pittsmith there moving uh, ahead of A Trail, and A Trail's dropped behind uh, center as well. Justin there moving ahead of Isis, Gabra up into P9, and uh, Justify getting back ahead of Vita Ultra here coming through the Dennis Chicane. So these two dropping places here. It's a battle for the leaders. They're coming into Lesmo 1. Justify managing to steal that that uh, position back after losing it down the start finish straight. Was absolutely sleeping off of the line. Did not get away at all but he's managed to uh, get away with it and it's currently p1 again here vita and ultra all over the back of him though justify on the as the tire advantage at the moment being on the mediums but vita and ultra has got the sip stream here coming down towards ascari he's too far back at the moment has to tuck in for the time being justify holds onto the lead wtf random papa squanch there in the background with matty pitt little grievy and trucky and uh, you've got uh, a long train of cars here as bad boy and justin here running in ninth and tenth that's going to be interesting to see how they pick off the uh, the drivers ahead there's random there getting ahead of wtf up into third place justify 
Roy there down the inside of V10 Ultra, but he goes a bit wide there, and V10's going to suck him out of the parabolica and gets the move back on him there, coming out to the start finish straight. It's justified. He's tucked back into the slipstream here. He's going to try and get a run here down the start finish straight. You've got Justin there moving ahead of Trucky as well, up into P8. Back to the leaders here, Justify, looking to the inside of uh, Vita and Ultra, down towards turn one. He's going to make this move as he surely know Vita managing to keep it around the outside, managing to hold himself there, and Justify getting it a little bit wrong there coming out of the chicane. That allows Random up into second place. WTF3 will be looking to try and capitalise, but he's too far away at the moment. But uh, Justify down to third place in that one. Vita and Ultra still leads the race as Papa Squanch here is trying to attack now on WTF3 down towards the chicane. Oh, bit of contact there as WTF3 squeezes him as Papa Squanch there is going to complete the move. Surely no WTF3 there cuts over the chicane a little bit and Papa Squanch does complete that move there up into fourth place very close there between those two that was close to tears there as uh, oh Justin's out of the race Justin's crashed out through Lesmo 1 another safety car oh for goodness sake it's just constant oh, yeah, safety pizza. cars oh <laughs> uh, yeah I mean I'm oh, I can't I can't because oh, I'm working tomorrow and uh, no because I won't be able to sleep I have a pizza at this time I won't be able to sleep as oh. much as I'm tempted. <laughs> Tempting. So no. that put a big dent in Ferrari's chances. Yeah. I mean, yeah, obviously Senna running in, in P10. Um, he's got to score, what is it, 12 points we worked out, isn't it? So if Senna finishes P4, Ferrari are the Constructors' champions. If he finishes third, they definitely will be, 100%. Um... So yeah, basically Senna needs to get on the podium to guarantee their Ferrari wrapping up the constructors here this season. But uh, nonetheless, we got Vettel into the pits. So's, uh, pardon me, uh, so's basically everybody else except uh, Bad Boy and Senna. Obviously those two put the hards on only a couple of laps ago. So those two can go to the end of the race, but the others all coming in putting the mediums on. So they, the others are going to have the tire advantage. These two are going to have track position. This is now going to be very interesting here, Freddie, because you've got Bad Boy and Senna on the right, obviously, on tyres that shouldn't go to the end easily. But uh, guys like V10 are going to have faster tyres. Likewise, WTF Freak as well. This is going to be really, really exciting to see how this pans out. Because these two are going to have the slower tyres, but they're going to be out the front. And they're going to be fighting each other as well. Mm, it's going to be interesting. It really is, because Bad Boy and Senna now... These two, obviously, the quickest drivers, I think, over a single lap for sure, in terms of their outright pace. But, I mean, are they going to have the pace in those hard tyres compared to those behind them? Obviously, Monza isn't too much of a difference in terms of tyre compounds because there's not many corners, really. It's mostly straight. So the tyres don't really make as much of a difference around this track as they do around, say, for example, a, a Singapore or... Uh, you know, or Barcelona, but nonetheless, it does make some difference. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, exciting to see exactly how it all develops here. But uh, currently, Bad Boy needing a head of center at the moment, and uh, you've got Andrew Pittsmith, who's also elected to stay out, obviously on hard tires. Isis Gaba has done seven laps on those, so he'll have to do 20 laps by the time he gets to the end of the race. Obviously, if a couple of those would have been under safety car, so he's probably going to be all right on that one. Matty Pitt is uh, running in. P11, he's got a penalty, so Bad Boy, Isis Gabra, and Matty Pitt, the drivers with penalties so far in this race. And uh, yeah, it's been quite good in terms of the, the penalties so far. We've got Andrew Pitts with into the pits oh, now at the end of lap 413. Oh no! Oh, you couldn't ride it. As soon as you mentioned penalties, one got ditched out. Always has to be the way. It's commentator's curse. It was a it was silly, silly one to get, one to get as well, speeding speed in the pit lane, lane. you're on the safety, safety car. car. You, you don't, don't need to speed, speed into the pit, pit lane. lane. That's, That's a, a rookie mistake, mistake from Andrew. Andrew. Yeah, oh. is it a try through that you get for speeding in the pits? Yeah, yeah but... If you, you can't, you can go without, without starving, starving it. it. But it but just it adds five seconds onto the end of your race. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's not a drive through it's just a five second penalty. It's optional, it's optional if you want, if you want to survey, like, like you can go into the pit box and survey. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. If you're coming in, like say for example, you could do it under safety car and benefit massively, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. To be fair, like this is just me because obviously it's good having Freddy here because I know nothing about this game. I literally do not play it. I mean, I understand F1 because I watch F1 in real life. I understand sim racing because I've done sim racing myself. Um, 
but you know in terms of the, this actual game I'm very very illiterate um, I, yeah, I'm just totally incompetent when it comes to actually knowledge of playing this game but uh, nonetheless we're coming towards the end of lap 15 we're about to go racing here for the third time after a safety car hopefully there won't be too many more safety cars hopefully there won't be any more safety cars if I'm honest with you fingers crossed they uh, keep it clean from now until the end bad boy currently leading us here with center in second and Isis Gabba running in third place these three all on the hard tires everybody behind them more or less except WTF Freak is on the medium tires so everybody else is going to have that pace advantage in terms of the tires but we know how quick bad boy and center are in terms of their outright pace so are they going to be able to make those tires work from now until the end here this is going to be very exciting to watch as here we go when is bad boy going to put his foot down is he going to try and catch center on he's gone here we go we're racing once again as we come over the line here to start lap 16 of the race and uh there's driver into the pits uh, straight away here so matty pitt coming in at the worst possible time and you do not want to be doing that uh, at the end of a safety car period w uh, uh, sorry v ultra in the meantime has moved ahead of dice scabber into third place and it looks like uh, we've got everybody just concentrating up right now the red bull there trying to make a move there on justified pappas quench there moving up into p6 also a little greedy has got ahead of wtf freak on the exit of the first chicane up into p8 uh, in the meantime, we've got uh, Trucky all over the back of these as well. WTF Freak has got him behind him right now as we've got uh, Andrew back into the pits to serve that drive or rather that uh, penalty that he obviously accrued for uh, speeding in the pit lane. You've got WTF Freak moving ahead of Little Green to P8 as well. But uh, Bad Boy has got Senna all over the back of him right now as they come out of Lesmo 1. You've got WTF Freak moving ahead of Justify and Justify has made a mistake. He's gone wide onto the gravel. He's out of shape there. Justify dropping down the order there as uh, WTF Freak's also made Oh no, WTF Freak's out of the race on the exit of Lesmo 2. I saw that he was dropping down the order and he's absolutely stacked it into the wall. We've got a VSC. We've got a car in the wall with a tire off. I don't know how on earth that's only a VSC looking at the previous incidents that they've only that they've brought a safety car out for, but nonetheless, F1 logic, you just cannot beat it. But uh, A Trail's lost out to Oliver as well. Oliver up into the points. But a catastrophic crash there for WTF Freak. But it looks like we're gonna recover it under VSC, so no disruption to the racing. Thank goodness for that. One thing I will say, Senna and Bad Boy will be fighting all the one. Ultra is in a brilliant spot on the tires he's on. Because Bad Boy and Senna's tires have done seven laps and removed three laps from that. But all of Ultra's laps have been on the safety car. Definitely. And he's on the quicker tire as well because the medium tire could, and it can probably go at least sort of 12 laps without any wear or without any sufficient wear to cost him too much. Um, He's going to be a massive factor. I tell you what, Bad Boy and Senna, I think, are going to be hanging on to, especially if they continue battling each other like they are. But uh, Senna is really, it's almost like he's pushing that Williams along at the moment as they come out of De La Roche Chicane. Here comes Vita and Ultra now. He's going to look to try and knock Senna here whilst he's trying to focus on what's in front of him. He's really giving him uh, a lot to think about right now. Papa Squanch is all over the back of Isis. Gabba here in the battle for P5 as well. Little Greavy trying to force a new opening here with these two as well but uh, this is going to get tasty here out the front once the drs is enabled we're going to see i think a, a, a move for position a move for the lead i think every lap from here to the end as papa squanch here has moved ahead of isis gabba up into p5 but these two are uh, in fact isis gabba's moved ahead of little greeby as uh, sorry it's uh, lost out to little greeby as well oh he's out of shape there as he missed his front wing i think he might have lost his front wing there he seems to be really struggling here as isis gabba as we're track side here no he's not missing his front wing he's just uh, really struggling at the moment not quite sure what that was all about it looked Maybe. like uh, Gabba got shoved off track and he didn't want to rejoin dangerously. Yeah, I think he was a little bit too courteous there, in my opinion. I think he should have just tried to get his elbows out a little bit. And I know, obviously, you, you don't want to take too many risks there. But uh, in the meantime, Oliver's lost a couple of places here, but behind Justify and A Trail down to P11. But uh, the gap at the front between Bad Boy and Senna, just under uh, uh, two tenths. In fact, he's getting closer and closer now. Senna here is going to try and make a move, coming through the curve of Grande, down towards the Zeta Chicane once again. He's going to be at the inside line. Senna's going to make that move, and he's done it. He's made it stick there. Has Senna up into P1, has beaten Ultra, can do nothing about it. Bad Boy has uh, is, uh, is side by side here with, in fact, no, he's, he's sorry, Bad Boy's lost out to Vita and Ultra there, coming down towards Esmo 1. Random also following him through there as well. Bad Boy down two places there. Obviously lost the, uh, or rather was battling with Senna for a moment there, and he's lost now he's down to fourth place so bad boy there having a catastrophic uh, moment there beaten ultra within a second of center looking to try and force the issue here on his medium tires he can now really put the pressure on center here he's right within him he's, he's well within a second now so when that drs gets enabled on this next lap he will be there to capitalize 
bad boy in the meantime getting closer to the back of random here down towards the parabolica looking to the inside as he makes that move but the thing is he's going to be giving drs to random i think down the start finish straight surely or is the detection point before where he made that overtake i'm not quite sure In fact, yeah, he has given, well, to be fair, they've all got DRS on the cars in front of it anyway, so makes no difference. But Bad Boy here, look to the inside of Beaten Ultra, down towards turn one, and he makes it stick there, does Bad Boy. Random, still waiting in the wings here. Tell you what, though, Senna has uh, played a blinder here, Freddie, because he's got a second of a gap here to these guys behind him, so he's definitely doing what he needs to do at the moment, and V10 struggling to make it stick on Bad Boy right now, so that's going to be costing him... He needs to be making the most of these medium tyres. And uh, if he's losing time here and stuck behind Bad Boy, that's not going to be the situation that he'd be hoping for. One thing I noticed there was uh, Ultra didn't have DRS coming down the straight. I don't know what happened to him, but he just put, he lost like so much time coming out of one corner. And then pulled, pulled Santa pulled 700 a second on him. Yeah, I think it might have been a detection point. Or maybe he just didn't press the button. I don't know, maybe he thought he pressed the button and he hadn't. We've got a VSC here because WTF freaks out of the race. We also lost Andrew Pittsmith as well. So two drivers there retiring and Matty Pitts now retired as well. So loads of drivers pulling out of the race here. Um, I don't know if they had damage or what's gone on there, but lots of drivers throwing in the towel there. As we're continuing round, obviously, towards the end of lap 19. Eight laps left to go here at Monza for this Italian Grand Prix here tonight at Motive. And uh, Senna currently leading the way. Bad Boy getting closer to the back of him here as they come down towards turn one. But just a little bit too far away there at the moment. Trucky with a drive-through penalty there for speeding under the VSC. That will be a pain to serve. Yeah, he's because he's so he'll yeah. be down to twelve. He'll get nothing. Yeah, he's not going to be able to. He won't be able to come in. He'd have to have the time added on. Simple as that. This one, he has to come in and serve like drive through. Because if he doesn't serve this, he gets disqualified. So oh god, drive through. Yeah, one. yeah, of course. Yeah. Sorry, I was thinking of just like a normal time penalty. Yeah, god. That's, uh, that's really going to screw him over. We've got Bad Boy here looking to the outside of Senna coming uh, towards Ascari. He's got that move done as Vita and Ultra are also swooping through as well up into P2. So Senna there down to P3 and uh, it's just so close between these drivers. That's how quickly it can change here. V10 on the tyres which are going to be the fastest out of these three. He's now looking to attack on the back of Bad Boy down towards Parabolica. He's too far back. He'll wait for the DRS zone. He can afford to be patient here because he's got the faster tyres. He's going to have more confidence here out of the, uh, the slow attraction zones. He here he comes then, down the start finish rate. Right? This is going to be the lead going for Bad Boy. The question is, can he stay ahead of Senna as well? But it's going to be the lead for Bad for, for a Vita and Ultra as we come over the line here to start lap 21 of the race. Here comes Senna now as well, looking to the outside of uh, Bad Boy, but Bad Boy holds on on the inside there. He's going to try and come back at V10 as well, but v is going to keep on to that one. And V10 has completed the move up into the lead of the race once again. And on those medium tyres, is he now just going to start to drive away from these two? The question now is... Are the tyres going to start to come back to Bad Boy and Senna? With V10s obviously being on the mediums, they do degrade a bit quicker than the hards, or a fair bit quicker than the hards. So maybe in the last couple of laps, he might suffer a bit of degradation. That could be what Bad Boy and Senna could be clinging to um, towards the last couple of laps of this race, maybe. I'll tell you what, Random really bringing himself into this fight as well on his medium tyres. But uh, down towards Ascari we come once again. Bad Boy looking to the inside there. Throwing a little feint there on V10, but nothing doing at this point. We've got a little Grievy on the back of Papa Squanch as well as the Grieve. Got uh, A-Trail keeping Oliver on his toes as well in the battle for P9. Bad Boy very close there on V10. Throwing a little feint to the inside as well. Nothing doing still. Bad Boy's tormenting uh, Ultra. Because Bad Boy's sitting on him because... He knows. he knows Ultra won't have DRS, but Ultra will burn his ERS. 
Here he, he comes. Looking to the inside now. Bad boy for the lead of the race. He makes the move for the Italian Grand Prix. And he's going to get that move stick at six as well. As B10 could do nothing about it. But B10 getting a better exit out of the first chicane. Might have a chance to come back at him around the outside of the Curva Grande. He'll have the inside for the Dead Ross chicane here. These two running toe to toe right now. It's going to be very, very tight here between them into the into the chicane. But uh, bad boy on the outside there. V10's going to have the inside now. And he's going to come back at him beautifully there. B10 there up into P1 again. Bad boy trying to cling to the wheel there. He saw a bit of contact there between them. They managed to keep it clean just about. Bad boy on the inside. Is he going to send one there? He's going to absolutely lunge up the inside of the Esmo one. And he makes his stick there as well. Fantastically done there from him. And V10 had to see him coming. I thought V10 was going to go for a cutback, but he couldn't get the cutback because bad boy managed to time his lunge really nicely to sort of just not allow V10 to uh, to duck back in. But uh, bad boy in the lead once again. V10 there running in second place. Random now in third ahead of Senna, which is going to be uh, crucial there because Senna now... Uh, is might not be in a uh, constructors championship taking position because obviously we said before 12 points but are we not sure if 12 will do the championship obviously i think he needs a podium to guarantee it but uh, papa scorch here has got a little greedy looking up his inside there into the parabolica but obviously the drs will change everything here bad boy in the meantime has got half a second here to vita and that gap's coming down and down and down and down in the drs coming down to start finish straight towards turn one again as vita looking around the outside bad boy's going to try and hold it on the inside he, he's managed to go a little bit deep there as v10 ultra bad boy they're keeping himself around the outside there v10 getting a better exit out of the first chicane though and it's going to hold on here through the curva grande for the time being he'll park his car on the inside or he'll try to coming down towards the de Rocha chicane as well as the Greaves moved ahead of his brother the Gre little greedy up into p1 or p5 should i say battle for p1 still going on here between v10 ultra and bad boy Vita and Ultra still holding on here we had a bad boy couldn't come back at him there could, could a bad boy at the moment as Little Greavy and the Greave battling here for P5 coming through the chicane Little Greavy managing to hold on to P5 the Greave there really twitchy there coming out of the corner just about held on to it that was a close call there from him as we go back to the battle here between Vita and Ultra and bad boy right now still going at it for P1 bad boy has got a bit of a run here on V10 coming down towards Ascari now V10 defends the inside line bad boy trying to go around the outside it's not going to happen and Vita Ultra uh, keeps on to the lead, which he took a few moments ago. Bad boy, though, down, the, uh, down towards the Parabolica might have a chance. No DRS yet. He'll get it down the start, finish straight. But he's going to try and make the move anyway here. Is he? He's going to go for it. Who was ahead of that detection point there? That was so close. Bad boy, though, takes the lead. Who's going to have DRS, though? Is bad boy going to have DRS? Did he time that to perfection? Or is he going to be vulnerable here to Vita Ultra? No. Ultra, fair play. That was tactical. I've seen exactly, exactly what he was doing. doing. Slow down, down the slightest bit, bit there. Bad, bad boy through. Pure Charles Leclerc there from V10. Round the outside he goes to turn one. Bad boy trying to hold himself around oh. the outside. He's done that brilliantly there as bad boy. Slots in. Absolutely fantastic move there. As uh, V10 losing out to random. Getting a horrible run out of the chicane. Senna's dropped well out of it there in fourth place. Bad boy though still leads the race right now. With just four laps left to go. And random now making a move for the lead. Where has random come from? He takes the P1 there as they're coming to the Delarosha chicane. Incredible racing here from random. And I tell you what. He could be on course for his first win here tonight. Incredible developments here. What do I even say? Um, the reason Ultra and Senna fell off, they collided. There was wheel banging the whole way through and then they got stuck around each other. Uh, Ultra slightly pushed Senna off track, but both of them saw that they got back on track perfectly. Bad boy had to get well out of it there as they went into Ascari because V10 was around the outside, knew that they couldn't go uh, alongside each other going into the entry of the corner. So V10 back up into second place and Bad Boy now down to P3. Random though leads this race here at Motive for the Italian Grand Prix. Obviously, relatively new drivers to the league. I don't believe he's ever won. I don't believe he's even taken a podium here. So what a show this would be from him tonight if he takes the win. Obviously around a track where a lot of people get a lot of practice. A lot of people know this track very well. But take nothing away from him. Last week. Did he? He was forced right, right behind me. me. Oh yeah, of course he was. Yeah, how did I, how could I forget that? What a battle that was in the last few laps. Uh, just to find the meantime, moved ahead of Little Greavy up into P5. Oh, as Little Greavy runs over the curves a little bit. Oh, the Greave getting a horrible exit there, and he's going to lose out to uh, to the Greave. Sorry, Little Greavy was the one. <laughs> Sorry. Um, 
Anyway, moving on. Um, Papa Squanch here watching all this unfold in front of him. The grieve there down the inside of Justify into the Dead of Russia chicane and uh, Justify just stayed ahead of Little Grieve, but it's getting to his teeth there. Well, Isis Gab is in the pits at the end of lap 24 as these three, the Grieve, Justify, and Little Grieve continue to battle it out as uh, Little Grieve there getting a little bit wide. Papa Squanch is unable to capitalize on that as they come through Lesmo too. But uh, the Grieve here staying ahead of Justify for the time being in this battle for P5 in this race. Random still leads ahead of V10 Ultra. Can V10 throw the kitchen sink at random? In the final couple of laps of this race. Obviously, V10's got bad boy for company as well, which is going to affect his ability to close that gap to random. Random does appear to be putting a small gap at the moment, six tenths of a second. It's not going to make the difference, but it's just, it's a bit more than, it's not exactly like uh, V10's breathing down his neck. He's keeping a leash on him, but he's not really putting him under tremendous pressure at this point. Random faster stop, V10 ultra faster stop. These drivers setting faster stops to the race. Obviously, as the fuel loads lighten, it's giving them a bit more speed around this circuit here. As we've got Bad Boy here making a move on V10 into turn one and gets himself up into second place there. So, lovely move there from Bad Boy, but it's not over yet. Still two laps left to go in this Italian Grand Prix, and it's all to play for between these top three who have just capped the championship leader center by a little a bit as the Grieve is made a move on Justify and Justify losing out to Little Grievy as well there so Justify getting a bad run out of the first chicane Baba Squanch there is going to look to try and capitalise here as they come through Curva Grande you've got Little Grievy attacking all over the back of his brother as well Baba Squanch here too far back on, on the Justify at the moment as they come into the Dead Roger chicane once again and the Grieve there oh he goes over the curve a bit that's going to give Little Grievy the run Little Grievy there gets a beautiful cut back there into Lesmo 1 and Justify follows him through there as well the Grieve there trying to keep himself around the outside Justify there gets the move completed there up into P6 as V10's moved ahead of Bad Boy again. These, they're still battling for the lead here into Ascari. This is going to be a cracking the final lap here of the race. Random still leading V10 Ultra and Bad Boy giving it absolutely everything here. It's going to be a case of right place, right time, I think, the winner of this race. Similar a couple of seasons ago to what we saw. We saw Jelram and Gertian having a fantastic battle for the win um, back on F122. Here we go. We've got a similar battle right now between Random V10 Ultra and Bad Boys. The Grieve has got a three-second time penalty there for track limits. But uh, here we come over the line to start the final lap of the race here at Monza. And it's Random by the skin of his teeth. V10 Ultra and Bad Boy both coming for him. Oh, it's three oh, wide into no. turn one. This is going to be chaos. Bad Boy on the inside there. V10 keeping it around the outside. Has somehow managed to make the move on both of them there. Fantastic driving there. Random gets it all wrong coming on the exit at the first chicane. Got really twitchy. That might have cost him a chance to fight it out for the win here tonight. As Bad Boy is attacking on V10 coming through the curve of Grande, but he's too far back. Is it going to make that move coming down towards the Dead Rush chicane? And V10 Ultra may have a chance to win this race, but Bad Boy's going to have the DRS. He's going to have two more bites to the cherry here. Is Bad Boy. He might have a chance to make the move for the lead once again. Random now coming under the pressure from Senna here for the final podium place. Senna could yet bag the constructors championship here for Ferrari if he can get ahead of this Alpha Tauri on the Final lap no, of the race, will. but V10 Ultra. He will get it. Uh, yeah. still got his three second penalty. Oh, he will. So of course he, he will. Of course he will. Bad Boy making a move for the lead here. Down the inside he goes into Ascari and he's done it beautifully there as Bad Boy. No DRS down the back straight, so I think he might have just got the win on the track here. Papa Squanch in the meantime has moved ahead of the Grieve up into P7 as well. It's all going off here in the final lap of the race. Bad Boy here coming down towards the Parabolica. He's driven a fantastic race. He fully would have deserved the win if he had had it, but unfortunately due to his penalty, he is going to drop down to fourth place here as we come out of the Parabolica. It's going to be V10 Ultra to take a win on his return here to Motive. Obviously his race to come of races here recently but V10 Ultra takes the win for the Italian Grand Prix random in second with Senna third and Bad Boy fourth great battle there between the top four absolutely superb stuff as Justify takes P5 in fact no he doesn't Little Grieve gets it on a penalty so Little Grieve P5 Papa Squanch sixth they had a Justify seventh and the Grieve eighth Trucky coming over the line to finish this one in ninth place here in the end with Oliver to complete the final point and then a trail in 11th place to complete the classification here but uh, what a race what a night we've had here at Monza tonight, Freddie. That was breathtaking stuff. I can tell because you barely took a breath. Yeah, yeah, it's um, yeah. I suppose you've experienced firsthand now. Um, what goes into this? <laughs> passion. Passion. Um, passion. Um, yeah. No, I just have, I I just have to sit there and waffle. Basically, that's what it is. Um, I'm a professional waffler. That's my job. Um, but yeah, what, what a fantastic race that was. I mean, V10 getting the win due to the penalty there. Shame for Bad Boy. It's not the first time he, he's lost a win due to penalties. Maybe he wants to rein in those track limits a little bit because he seems to get them early on in the race. After that, he seems to clean up his act, but it's just the start of the race where he seems to really shoot himself in the foot. That was got to be something that Bad Boy is going to work on. I'm sure he will address it. But uh, yeah, that's 
obviously one one thing he's falling short short on a lot. Um, but Freddie, I've got to ask you. After all of that, um, I've got to ask you who's the driver of the day. Well, that's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. He's, he's come, come from, from ninth, ninth, and he's, he's gone, gone to first. first. My, My driver of the day is Ultra. Ultra. No, no arguments. arguments. Obviously, um, he's done a fantastic job here tonight. There's no doubt about that. I'm going to go for random personally because he's a driver who you don't always expect to be battling at the front. Obviously, he's relatively new to the league. Uh, I've commentated on my first race with him last week. And uh, yeah, he's made an absolutely fantastic inception. So for me, my vote goes to random for tonight. Uh, but yeah, V10, fantastic job. Honourable mention, obviously, to Bad Boy for taking the win on the track, but obviously lost it due to the penalties. And Senna, P3, a bit disappointing for Senna, isn't it? Hey? Yeah, but I guess there is some good points to be taken away from this. Uh, we'll see the same for our team next year because there was an end that. Senna and Justin are going to be teammates for next year. That's true. Because so, was... it could be another year for our dominance. It certainly could. I mean, Senna was uh, there was a bit of doubt as to whether or not he would re-sign with Ferrari. There was rumours that he might be looking elsewhere, but in the end, um, he's put pen to paper on that one and silenced any uh, potential uh, naysayers on that one. But yeah. That's all we got time for tonight, guys. Thanks, everybody, for watching this back, obviously, on Sunday night. Um, this will be the last week where it's just the F1 on Sunday. Um, from next week onwards, we'll have the ACC GT3 Championship making its uh, first reappearance for the season. Obviously, Season 7 for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X GT3 Championship on a set of course, competizione. And um, I think you would have probably, hopefully have the flat out racing league on as well obviously purple sector now in off season they'll be back for f124 and uh yeah i'm hopefully going to be commentating on f on uh, forl the uh, which is run by actually oliver who races in this league here tonight so yeah maybe we'll be seeing that but uh from us uh it's a very good night and freddie make sure, make sure you have your seat belt tight indeed there you go <laughs> Thanks very much. Fun fact of the day. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Welcome back, everybody to the debrief here for the Italian Grand Prix here at Motive. Obviously, a very action-packed race, as you usually expect to see at Monza. Only 11 cars got to the end, which is not really what you want to be seeing, but I suppose we saw some exciting racing along the way. We saw a very impressive comeback drive from, obviously, V10 winning the race from P9 on the grid, albeit due to the penalty for Bad Boy. Uh, we also saw Random coming from 12th on the grid to finish in second bl place, which was absolutely fantastic there from him. Um, we also saw uh, Ferrari wrap up the Constructors' Championship, Freddie, with uh, Senna's third place. It looked like it might be a bit of an uphill battle at the start, though, didn't it? Yeah, yeah especially, especially when, when Justin, Justin went, went down, down to 20th. 20th. That, that was... was Scary moments for Ferrari. I'd, I'd say, say for Senna, he was feeling the pressure. He certainly was. Uh, he had a lot of burden on his shoulders. He was down the pack a little bit in the earlier part of the race as well. Um, he, yeah, he, had, he was on the hard tyres, which obviously wouldn't have helped because those around him, like V10 and Random, obviously were on the mediums. They had the faster tyres. I did say, didn't I? I was saying it's going to really bite them on the on the uh, on the arse, basically. Um, Senna and Bad Boy being on those hard tyres. It turned out to be the case, but uh, damage imitation, he brought it home. He managed to get the constructor's crown wrapped up. Uh, also, Senna can't be far away from wrapping up the drivers now as well. He's going to have 122 points over Justin with only five races left, obviously, with a couple of sprints, I think, one or two sprints. I can't remember. Can you? Have we got any more sprints this season? What I I think there's, there's one, one left because we, we had three races, races cut off because of the early announcement of the new F1. So uh, yeah, of course. We have only one sprint 
I'd prefer just looking in the right league now, wouldn't it? <laughs> I think there's a few extra points on the table. I think it's about 140 odd points still left available for, to the end of the season. So Senna's not there yet. He's 122 clear. He could wrap it up next round, but it's probably more likely going to be at Japan, if anywhere. I mean, it, it will be somewhere because he's not going to lose now. So there is definitely one now. Brazil. Oh, Interlagos. Is there one at Kota? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, we have the sprint race in Kota and Brazil, back to back. Oh, wow. That's going to be exciting. I tell you what, the sprint races for me, they're always a bit more challenging for me. Um, just because, obviously, you jump straight in from the lobby into one shot quality and then you're straight into the race there's no real build up I find that uh, it's quite overwhelming easier now we record the races rather than do them live admittedly but uh, yeah it's uh, it's pretty much it's non-stop there's no real chance to ease into it <laughs> with the spin races but uh, obviously Interlagos will be an exciting one lots of overtaking it's a, a very slipstream orientated circuit and Kota, it's going to be hard on the tyres. It's going to be uh, limited running, obviously. Not too much practice in the quality. Because a lot of drivers use quality, I think, as a bit of a practice. So it's going to be a case of jumping at the deep end for that one. Um, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, but still plenty of points on the table, Freddie. And for Senna, he knows he's very close to the championship. He knows he's basically got it in the bag. Ferrari have obviously got the constructors in the bag. At this point, I think we're going to be seeing, I think, a bit more of a mix-up. Maybe he might drop the ball a bit. Maybe he might not practice as much. I reckon we might be seeing bad boy in a couple of wins towards the end of this season with the way he's been going and improving. I can see him definitely taking a fair few of these remaining races. What about you? If he stays away from them tracks, I have too well. <laughs> yeah. Because I know rightly he'd be kicking himself tonight. I mean, it's, it's not the first race he's blown, is it? Yeah, he's blown a lot, a couple of them. There was, I, I think... Emila. It was Emila, the, the other one. Yeah, Emila. That was Some, the noble one. Something about Italian stewards. They just don't like bad boy. I don't think they like Williams full stop. I mean, to be fair, who does? I'll have you know I'm here. <laughs> no, to be fair, you know, um, I, no, Williams are actually a true Brit a, a true British patriotic team. No, they really are. Um, they they came from pretty much nothing, just a factory team, customer customer uh, customer team in terms of their engines. They never made their own engines. They don't create any. They're not a manual. They're not. They don't actually create cars. They're literally just a. Sort of like an amateur F1 team that dominated F1 in the 90s. Kind of crazy how that actually wound up happening. Um, but yeah, on this game, they've got two good drivers, obviously, in Bad Boy. And obviously, Nathan as well. Nathan, a bit unlucky today, crashed out of the race. You reckon you saw an incident, was it, between himself and Justin? Yeah, at the start, there was a lot of banging the wheels between the two of them. Now, I don't want to go pointing fingers. But when, when we, we when we look, look at the race itself, when, when they, they were going around, it, it did look like Nathan just, just kind of closed the gap, gap on Justin, and, and Justin, Justin had nowhere to go. go. Now, now, of course, from, from the booth, we, we can't, can't see every angle, angle that we want. want. But, but it'll be interesting to see if reports, reports go up, up and if and Justin goes and puts a report up about Nathan. Yeah, it wouldn't be surprising, especially because uh, he ended up out of the race later on, uh, probably just as a chain reaction, probably a bit frustrated with where he was and took a few too many risks. And Nathan wound up out of the race a while later, albeit not because of that particular incident they had. But uh, both of them in the wars tonight, both of their teammates doing a fantastic job. Obviously, uh, Senna and, and Bad Boy. Uh, really delivering the goods here tonight in terms of both uh, up there fighting, or rather, uh, no, Bad Boy's teammate, sorry. It's, uh, Bad Boy's not his teammate. Um, 
Bad Boys' his own team, mate. What are you on about? Yeah, Bad Boys' his own team, mate. But, um, yeah. No, obviously, they're... Um, yeah, Bad Boy and Senna putting in an absolutely fantastic display out the front. Um, but yeah, I think Random a real standout tonight, finishing in P2. And V10, I guess we expect it from V10. He's a driver who's been really strong in purple sector. Took a bit of a sabbatical this season from Motive, but was in that fight at the end on the medium tyres. Him and Random, right place, right time, I think. I think if they've been on the hards, they might have struggled to dispatch Bad Boy and Senna like they did but saying that uh, strategy is a big part of it you've got to be always thinking you, you've always got to be thinking on your feet on this game and uh, it's something that those two did so I suppose credit where credit's due eh? Who needs more credit when they've got first and second just by using their brains? Exactly. When the first safety car occurred they were, they were smart, they boxed, both, both of them, them. knew exactly, exactly what they were doing. Second car, second tip car, didn't go in. Senna went, went in then. In. Third tip car, Ultra went in, changed tyres. That's what got him to win in the end, because he ended up going in, I mean, ballsy, and changing onto the medium tyres, which ended up being the better, faster and tyre. Yeah, it definitely paid dividends for him. And he kept himself out of trouble, didn't get a penalty. Bad boy, again, we've come to him before, but just seems like he's magnetic to these track limits. And it's something that I know he definitely needs to get on top of. We saw it cost him the win at Irela. We've seen him cost him the win at Monza. And it seems, and I said it on the stream as well, it always seems like it's early in the race and he can clean up his act when he has to, when he knows that he's on that knife's edge. He can clean up his act. It's just a case of, I think from the word go, maybe just settling down a bit in the first part of the race because he's clearly on, on edge, maybe a bit nervous at the start of the races, maybe he just needs to calm down a bit, take a deep breath, understand that it's a marathon, not a sprint. It's a, a Grand Prix is a long time racing, do you know what I mean? You're, if, if it's no safety cars, it's 40 minutes, 45 minutes. With safety cars, you know, it's nearly an hour. Um, you can't sort of win it on the first lap. You can't make all the difference in the first part of the race. Sometimes you just have to be there you just have to you know to you have to be there to live to fight another day um in that sense so it's uh i think he just needs to calm down basically in the first stints it's clearly that's what's hurting him but you see it's one of them things that you can easily just tidy up in no like no time indeed yeah all right yeah 100 percent i'd say my next by f124 will be saying harry's not gone any penalties <laughs> that's what happens in three months yeah I can see I can see us having the same discussion I can I can see us having a discussion where we're talking about how he's turned it around I hope that is the case because he's got bags of pace and clearly knows what he's doing behind the wheel just these little things that are holding him back so if he can get on top of them I would say we're looking at a championship contender potentially I mean it'll be interesting for F124, because the handling is set to change. So we could see drivers who maybe struggle this season shoot up to the front. What are they, What exactly is the uh, specs? What, what sort of um, changes are they making to the handling? Are they making it more realistic, more like a sim, or what's the plan? Do you know? They're trying to make it as much, like, as much realistic to the actual, actual cars, cars themselves. themselves. Like, like, I've played the uh, beta, and, and I find, find the cars, cars to be very similar to the F122 cars. cars. Like, they're very, very slippery, slippery but can easily be, like, adapted, adapted into perfect, perfect cars, cars for every track. track. It'd, It'd help, help if you had your F122 setups the same, because they'll probably come in handy. <laughs> To be fair, I'm, yeah, I'm none the wiser. The last F1 game that I played at any length was F1 2021. Um, I played F1 2020 a bit. To be fair, the, the the F1 game that I played more than any was F1 2012. <laughs> I remember that because I used to race in the league on that one. Um, that's this is when I was 15. <laughs> this is a long time ago. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, he's old. 
I am. I'm 26. Believe it or not, I'm I'm ancient. Yeah. Uh, back, back to the nursing home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been commentating for four years now. It's uh, it's getting a bit getting a bit repetitive. <laughs> no, I love right, it. I do love it. Next year we'll get you a cake. Yeah. <laughs> well, my birthday is in October. Uh, you're probably listening to this. You can pay for it. Yeah, come on. If we can just donate, how? Why, why don't I set up a a fundraiser for uh, <laughs> for my birthday cake? I'll just do it on like a buy instead of a buy me a coffee. Just put buy me a birthday cake. You're getting yeah, one, one cent, cent from me because that's all I've got in the bank. bank. <laughs> no, it's all right. Don't worry. It's all right. I'll I'll buy everyone else a cake on my birthday. That's how generous I am. And this is the guy who didn't want to upgrade his equipment. <laughs> only because I'm worried I won't use it. That's the only thing. Um, oh, you mean in terms of the streaming? Yeah. Um, yeah, well, once I'm settled, once I've settled in my own place, then obviously I'll create a nice little studio. But uh, yeah, hopefully that'll be the case soon-ish. Uh, but yeah. Back to the back to the uh, back to the league anyway. Um, so obviously we've got Ferrari wrapping up the constructors. That's huge for them. Senna taking another constructors crown. He's been in multiple constructors championship winning teams before. Last season with Papa Squanch. The season before that, for that with uh, Bennett. Uh, albeit, did he? I can't remember if he won it that season or not. But I know he's won it before. Back and he was racing under the name Demspecky. Um, yeah, he knows what it takes. He's done it before. And um, tantalizingly close to that driver's crown, which he could mathematically wrap up next week. But as I said, probably going to be not until Japan, which would be quite iconic, actually, seeing as Max Verstappen has wrapped up the last two in Japan. So that would be pretty cool uh, if he were to do that. Uh, yeah, I mean... Is that that's, we've pretty much covered everything, haven't we? I think uh, in terms of tonight's action. Uh, for those of you who enjoyed, obviously having Freddie alongside myself in this little debrief, uh, Freddie is going to be in the box with me for the remainder of this season. He will be back in the driver's seat next season. I uh, don't know, Freddie, if you want to spill the beans on what your plans are next season, or are we going to keep that under wraps for the time being? We'll keep that under wraps and we'll save it for the announcements. It's a closely guarded. Open secret amongst the drivers, but for those of you watching, you're not going to find out just yet. <laughs> but um, ten minutes later, it gets late. Ten minutes later, who is it? I'm not going to say. I'm not going to give any clues. No, I can't. I can't. I was going to give a little clue there, but I can't. Even the colour of the car would give it away. I was going to mention the team principal. But that would be a massive, not the, not the team prince. Um, oh, no, 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 I'm, thinking, I'm just, no, making it worse here. Um, <laughs> He's just confused. He's in a mind of his own. <laughs> no, I'm trying not to, I'm trying to forget the topic so that I don't blurt something out. Um, uh, but, but yeah, uh, thanks everybody, obviously, for tuning in to this little debrief, this discussion. Uh, hopefully, I'll have some standings on the screen about now uh, if you can see them those are the championship standings I don't yet know what they are but they should be on the screen right now and um, obviously for the remainder of this season we still got five races left here for the Formula 1 league so next week we go to Singapore uh, on the 26th of April same place so, uh, same time as always obviously going air, uh, uh, going or rather airing here on the channel on Sunday night uh, the races are obviously done on Friday nights. And then after that, we go to Japan, Suzuka, for round 17. Then we go to USA for a sprint race, followed by Brazil. So back-to-back -back sprint races for the uh, round 18 and 19. Brazil, the penultimate round of the season. Then you've got Abu Dhabi rounding out the season uh, on the 24th of May. And that will be probably where everything is already decided. I imagine the drivers will be long decided and the constructors already decided, even as we speak to you right now, with Ferrari having wrapped that up today. But... Uh, Nonetheless, there's still plenty of action to be seen across the rest of the season. Lots of drivers out there with a point to prove and looking to prove themselves as well. So definitely make sure you tune in uh, next Sunday for the broadcast of the race, which will, will have been run on Friday night. But uh, guys, thanks ever so much. It's uh, uh, Freddie. 
It's, I can't uh, even think of anything this time. Uh, it's a good um, night from from him, and it's a good night from me. Lasagna. <laughs> There we go, we had to get the lasagna in there. No, at the that's, very end we need to put the lasagna in. <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be the last that's, that's when that's gonna be when I roll the outro. After lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna, nah, you need to put a piece of lasagna in at the end. Oh god. <laughs>